We are Ben and MP, and this is Sailing Yaba, where we get to share a dream boat being rebuilt. Thanks to simple tools, ancient knowledge, and an amazing team of carpenters, our once wrecked schooner is being brought back to life. from your wedding day. Still trying to make terms with it, with her. Not behaving. <laughs> Can you see the pillars that are holding the roof here at the aft of the boat? They look quite square and that doesn't really suit the abbas shape. So what's gonna happen now? The guys are at the workshop and they're going to cut some columns for Ben to work on the lathe and make them round and then once we have the long columns round we're gonna half them and attach to these columns so we have the nice shape that's how it was before and that's how we're gonna do it now because it really suits your bass bike At least it's not holding the boat together and just the top. <laughs> I've learned, but I'm still learning. The bananas. Did you show them the bananas yet? Yeah. Can I have a bit of banana? Tell me you want a banana? Why? They're still green. So this top is now on-ish. I've got a bunch of elastics that I'm gonna start fastening, starting from the top center, working my way down. And when everything's nice and fitted, I'm gonna fasten them both together. I don't know how yet. It's gonna start raining soon, so let's get this thing finished and test it. So I thought all the lathe work was finished as all the columns were made, but all of a sudden these get chucked in front of me to finish, so. Thankfully, they have already made them really, really round. So all I have to do is take out these little lines and over here as well. And what these are going to be are, let me find one. So here's one of the old ones. This was one of the columns that was holding up the roof at the aft saloon. And as you can see on the outside, there is a little round bit. 
over here and it's not square and on top there's a little design as well so the long ones are going to be this sent the middle bit and the short ones are going to be a bit that i'm going to make that will go about here to here and you can kind of choose where it gets cut so they all look the same here you see there's a little gap in them i'm going to try and not let this gap happen and this gap's going to be nice and closed as well so that's the job for now i thought i had finished doing all this turning work but i guess there's a lot more to go So two more woodworking things, pieces of wood or boat parts that have to be looked at, done, known, inspect if we can fix them or have to replace them. While I do that, because they're waiting for those columns to continue, one of them no. is this one. So this is exciting stuff because to know if we can even attempt redoing this one to save on wood or to see if it's actually still structurally good, we need to see if the height of it's good. As in, this is where the emergency tiller goes into the rudder and as we've raised or at least altered where the columns are there at the transom, that hole has to go above the top part of the rail. So we are busy fastening a big piece of planking up the top of the boat onto the roof. And I'm going to try and hoist that up to at least see if the size was right. Because we can measure it a thousand times, but it's always going to be better to see it in place. See if the angle's right with the new transom and so on. As you can see, the rudder is missing some chunks that were eaten by the Teredo worms. The cool thing is that they just told me that if you're enjoying the content of the channel, you should definitely subscribe because you still have quite a long way to go. I'm gonna share all of it, so subscribe. So the verdict is it fits. So this is going to be copied identically except this is gonna be a bit higher so we won't need the adapter. And we're not gonna put in the hole yet because we're gonna put the, uh, the rudder on, attach the swimming platform, and before going into water, we can make that hole nicely. This one over here, uh, while sitting or standing on that huge platform, so we can make sure that's at the right angle once it's on. So yeah, this tripod broke again, so that's why I'm holding a tripod and you guys so I'm going to help out because we're going to go and try and test the platform now because there are four insertions into the transom and we need to make sure the stanchions or the feet of this the, the bases of the stanchions aren't in the way of that platform So that swimming platform, as we were <clears throat> dismantling it, taking it apart, we saw that where there was wood on wood in between the gaps, there was, it was starting to collect some rot and there were some weak points. So we're going to build the platform step by step from zero, so putting the four beams into the top plank of the transom. 
uh, attached under the deck over here and then bit by bit we're going to build on top of it so that's going to be cool that might not be now also as you might be able to see it's a bit rainy very rainy and we need to wait for the wood to build those four beams so i'm going to continue with lathe work but i'm not going to show you that so probably the next scene is going to be them doing something more interesting than me standing behind a blue machine So I did show you a tiny bit of the lathe turning because it's different. Like, I just showed you the size of the what I'm going to be turning right now. But over there, there's black boats going in the water now. So that's why they had to swap with this one. And that was that whole crazy maneuver. And he's going in and I'm curious to see what our next neighbors are going to be. One day, it'll be our turn. Another day in paradise. As you can see here, right behind me, we have the coker caulking. Soon the hole will be ready, but what I really want to show you, it's on the back, so come. The back? The after. Or the stern. One of You know what this is? It's the platform from where I'm gonna dive from. And it's getting rebuilt. And the most exciting thing is how they are making the holes to fit the big poles from the platform that will be holding the platform in place. platform was in a better shape but as you can see here it is needing some replacement so we're gonna work on that What's going on here, Mrs? I'm measuring the interior walls because we need to order the marine plywood to start making them here. So I'm taking all the measurements because one thing is the project and another thing is reality. So yeah, I'm just finishing up. Show us what you've got. Last wall. I draw very ugly. Is that Lily a word? <laughs> I understand my scribbles. So now with this, I'm gonna calculate them all together and see how many sheets, sheets of plywood we need to order to have this interior going. Is that exciting? I find it very exciting. Speaking of measuring, so there's this rudder over here which consists out of two pieces. There's the main bit over there where this ruler is and another one attached and this is the joint over here so this one is a 15 centimeter thick piece of wood because these little slots have to be made to be able to attach it to the boat and this one is about 10 but up to 12 centimeters let's have a look yeah 10 centimeters and this one 
is also going to need to be replaced because as you can see the worms have been at it kind of everywhere so i'm going to measure this up to see what we need of course this is going to be a bit taller so we don't need the extension so i think we'll add about is that 50 centimeters to it and then we can order the wood for this we might even have some left over but we've got to see have gone but this is number five out of eight so that's three more to go i've got some smaller ones there i've got to make three more smaller ones now the reason they're just like this is they're just going to make the square columns holding up the roof rounder on the outside with a little detail on the top and the bottom so there's three parts to that little column also this machine is quite let's say not strong for this so it has to be in the beginning it's super rough because it's very very shaky because it's quite a light machine so i've got to go over it as fast as i can roughly and then tidy it all up like here so it is a bit of a hassle but turns out nicely and only three more to go so it's fine only three more to go that's what i said last time whoa Ta -da. Maybe you are thinking the same as I'm thinking how long is that pole? I didn't figure the swim platform was that big, but looking like that, it's huge, like all that. What? <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but Nico was inside the engine room telling them like how to fit it better. Then I'll go inside later to show you how it is, but it's a bit dark, so I'll try. And now apparently we found the nice fit. We just need to hammer it in a bit and it'll be fine. <laughs> So you see that it has to come on the right angle there at the transom and also fit here 
with these beams. Bye. And that's our work. Over here in the engine room, you've got the four beams, one there, one there, one there, and one there. You can see they haven't been fastened yet to anything, but they will be. I am not sure yet how they will be fastened. Probably maybe through the deck beams up through up with some threaded bars. But these are really, really thick and that's not going to come loose at all. And there's this continuous ticking going on in the boat as well. And that's the corking that has still been going. He's done one thread all over the boat. He's gone over again in the whole hull with a second thread. And in the areas where he can still fit a third thread, where it's still quite deep, where we can still fit a corking putty, he's now putting a third thread in all over the boat. So it's really, really tight, and no one's gonna get it. What's this? This, you can see because it looks super cozy and comfy, it's going to be our sofa. And we bought it in Ikea and we have to put it together ourselves. <laughs> yeah. See, it's got all the instructions. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so today was the day that Ben's mom and Alan came to say goodbye to the boat and to the carpenters. They're all very stretched. But hopefully it's more like a see you soon and not a goodbye that I really want them to come on the boat today. Right? So we'll see how that goes. And nice shirt, Alan. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> Go visit our store for our merch. <laughs> Something just like this. so much for joining our virtual crew by donating through PayPal or joining us on our Patreon group. Thank you so much. Brian, Colin, Edward, Richard, Webfront Design, Robert and Brenda. 